Welcome back guys. So this is the glimpse of the previous lecture in which we have seen all the fundamental gates which included NOT gate, AND gate and OR gate and similarly we have seen that how to make the NOR gate out of the NAND gates ok. So these are all the gates which are made up of this NAND gate and this is because of the universality or universal property of the NAND gate ok. So today we are going to see the same gates which I can make which I can make by using this NOR gate. So let me start it in the second sheet here. So uh, NOR equivalent ok. So what I have to do here let me uh, use the same NOR gate ok and we can very easily see that the NOR gate can be represented by this OR with the bubble at the output end and what I will get here this is what this is A B and the output of it is A plus B whole complement ok. So let me see the equivalent of them and I can see that initially once I will have this NOR gate ok and at the input we have two inputs and when these are combined together shorted with each other and we apply an input uh, what I will get at the output of it I will get here a complement and we can very easily see that this is the functionality of a very fundamental gate that is the inverter or NOT gate to which I applied this A and at the output of it I get this A complement and this is what this is the NOT gate ok. Similarly, if I have a gate which is the NOR gate here and at the input of it I have applied A and B which are two inputs. So at the output of it what I will get I will get A plus B whole complement and then this is applied to the another gate this is another NOR gate and the two inputs of them are short together and the same output of the first gate is applied to the input of this what I will get at the output of it the complement of the both will be cancelled with each other because negative of the negative is positive. So at the output of it I will get A plus B which is basically what the same gate which I can see here that the same property to which two inputs are applied and the at the output of them I will get A plus B and this is what this is the OR gate ok. So two very fundamental gates the NOT gate and OR gate are made up of these NOR uh, gates. So these are the NOR equivalents of the fundamental gates. In third part of it I will have let me have two NOR gates this is a first NOR gate let me have another NOR gate to these we have the inputs ok. Let me short them down. So, the at the first I have A at the second I have B ok. So, at the output of first I will get A complement at the output of second I have got this B complement ok. The same is applied to the third gate which is a NOR gate and which has two inputs these are applied here ok at the output of them and at the output of them what I will get here I will get A complement plus B complement and whole complement ok. So let me simplify them as I have previously done. So by using the De Morgan's law what I can get from it is that it will be A complement plus B complement and this is the whole complement of it. So what I will get here so uh, at it I will get A complement complement dot B complement complement and what is this I can very easily see that this plus has been changed to this multiplication and this whole complement has been given to both of both of them and the complement of the complement is positive. So therefore I will get here A B ok. Similarly here I can write that at the output of it I will get A B ok. So this is what this is the AND property and I can see here that this is the same property which a very fundamental gate possess and that gate is called the 
AND gate. Okay. So if uh, I want to make it a NAND gate, what I have to do? I have to make or uh, insert the inverter here. So in order to insert the inverter, let me use this red color for it. So I will have to insert another NOR gate here and at the output of it, what I will get? I will get a B complement. So this will be what? Let me use this color. So this will in this insertion with this AND gate will give me another gate and that would be the NAND gate. Okay. So, the functionalities of the four gates are now mentioned in this uh, lecture in which we can very easily see that all of these gates are made up of a very simplified gate and that is basically the NOR gate. Okay. So, these are the NOR equivalent of the gates. So, the first one here is the NOR gate, second one is the OR gate and the third one is the AND gate while the last one is the NAND gate. Okay. So, uh, that is it for today in which uh, previously we have seen the equivalents of the basic or fundamental logic gates and uh, we have composed all of them by using the we have developed all of them by using the NAND gate because of the universal uh, universality of the NAND gate. Similarly, in today's lecture, we have talked about the universal property of the NOR gate that I can create any circuit or any logic gate by using the NOR gate. So, that is it for today and uh, from the next lecture, we will try to solve the related questions which are in our exercise uh, and we will see that how the equivalent circuits are helpful for us uh, in constructing different logic gates. So, I hope it is enough for today and I will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video. Till then take care of yourself.